we got some more news about the Japanese set Terrastal Festival. And yes, it's Terrastal. It's not terrestrial. It's Terrastal right here. Anyways, um, we have some more better images. We have some new cards that have been released, uh, more information. So we're going to dive into that. This is all from Poke Beach. And we got a better look at the pack art. Now, we saw this in a little video. It was a screenshot from like a little video that they had announced. <clears throat> and you couldn't really see it very well. But so here's the pack art. Um, once again, this is for the Japanese side. We're going to talk about what that means for English and everything in a second. But we got Eevee, crowned up Eevee. You got Umbreon, Glaceon, Terrapagos, and the Teal Mask here. Now, I think the pack looks interesting enough. We'll see. I kind of want to see like what this Umbreon card is going to look like. I want to see what the Glaceon is going to look like. And Terrapagos featured again uh, after it was just featured in uh, Stellar. So it'll be interesting to see there. Uh, we saw this card the other day. This was released in the video, but now we have a better quality image of it. This is the Eevee crowned up. Uh, I do like the colors. I like what's going on here. I would, I can't wait to see like the uh, the S A R. That's what they call it in Japanese uh, versions of these cards. If we're gonna get that, which I'm assuming we are, then we also have. So this is a new card. This was just just announced. Like just not that long ago. Uh, so that's why this video is going out now. Um, but Flareon, I like the Flareon too. This gives me hope for the SAR cards. We'll see once again, it, it really depends. It's gonna be a minute before we get those, but um, yeah, it's just nice to see. So yeah, I, I can imagine that the the nicer cards will be pretty cool. Um, here's some of the news. So Terrastal Festival EX will be released on December 6th in Japan. Um, they discovered the trademark on June 5th and posted it. Yeah, so we've known about this for a while and that would be an evolution set. So this is what's interesting though. This set will contain 187 cards before secret rares. So uh, large, large set, right? This is their annual high class pack set. Uh, its main attraction will be its enormous amount of alternate art secret rares. For example, last year's shiny treasure EX featured 190 cards in its main set and a whopping 170 secret rares so uh, if i remember correctly that was their paldean fates i believe um the japanese version each terrestrial festival ex booster pack will contain 10 cards instead of the usual five including a guaranteed pokemon ex the larger packs guaranteed hits and secret rares are what define a high class pack set so they're also adding something that i think is pretty cool they're changing some of the reverse hollows to this like cracked ice pattern which uh we've seen before and this is we've seen this a lot in um this is heavily featured in a lot of sports cards they get the cracked ice pattern and it does look cool and i think that this is really great that pokemon is mixing things up i would like to see more variation in reverse pa uh, hollow patterns and i think that that's really fun and i think it's going to look good and i think they should diversify with some of that stuff a little more often i know that's probably i don't know if that's maybe like it takes more work to come up with those, like the printers. I, I don't know as far as the manufacturing goes, but I do think that this is really cool. Um, we're, this is kind of like a throwback uh, a little bit at this point with the Pokeball and the Cracked Ice, but I think this is going to be super cool, and I'm excited for it. I, I mean, you know, reverse hollows for collecting usually aren't anything, but this just gives it some variation now, and I think that's really nice. So it's nice to change things up, and I, I applaud them for that. Um, so yeah, reverse hollows will have a cracked ice. Um, so with all high class sets, Terrastal Festival, the main set will mostly contain reprinted cards and maybe around 15 to 30 brand new cards. This helps to ensure cards from the last year are available to Japanese players. So that is interesting. I'm wondering what that means for English because we usually don't get reprinted cards per se so this will be very interesting um here's another look at the the cracked ice here on uh two types of cards they look so this is one of those ones where i think in person this is going to look a lot better usually these scans you know they don't usually do it so we'll see what happens with those um so also we got some more here um i can't read this text but um it's looking, let's just get a little preview, right? Of some of the basic EXs that are going to be in here. I mean, it's looking, they're looking, as far as the EXs, like basic cards, they're looking good. So these should look familiar to us. I think we've seen these, right? 
Um, what else we got? Tatsugiri, you know, some more cards. Looking looking decent, looking decent. Got the these guys here. Got the ace spec. Um, yeah, got these before. So this is something that's interesting for the Japanese side. Probably not as exciting for us, but we'll see what that means. Uh, it also includes alternate arts that released in other languages, such as Korea's uh, Ogre Pond, Teal Mask Ogre Pond, and English pre-release promos. So um, we'll talk about that real quick. We'll hop over here. So this one's kind of silly, I kind of think. So this is our Teal Mask. Okay, take a look, right? This is the EX, and this is the Korean one. Uh, it's kind of just flipped. Now they're saying that there's some differences, which there is, uh, but it's pretty much the same card. So for that, that's not really anything interesting in my opinion. Um, maybe if you're a diehard, that could be cool, but yeah. Um, and then, so these are some of the English pre-release cards, like the stamped, um, that will be included in the Japanese that they haven't gotten. They're promos for us. Um, so this will be cool for the Japanese side to get some of the artwork that we've gotten. I feel like it's usually the other way around where I feel like always the, uh, oh, that's from Searching Sparks. Um, so yeah, the Japanese side gets cooler cards than we do. But, um, so yeah, so some alternate arts, but they're not really all, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm a little meh on that. Um, we'll go back to the Flareon again. Just take another, a quick little look at it here. Um, looking good. We got the Eevee, once again, looking good as far as a regular EX goes. Um, a few more cards just to touch on real quick. Got the Hoot Hoot, looking good. We got Larry's Professionalism. Okay, it is what it is. So that is what we have uh, announced as of now. So December 6th, December 6th is the date. So I would expect um, hmm. it really depends on the Pokemon company's like release schedule with this stuff, but I would expect to see more stuff not really until like November. Um, it, it can depend, but like full reveals of stuff closer to like the middle of November, middle to closer to the end, uh, when we get the full stuff. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated uh, and I'll make a video when that stuff comes out, when we have like the full cards and everything. But I just wanted to give this update. I do think it's interesting, and I do think it gives us a better, kind of a little grasp on the set, right? We have some more information. We know it's going to be a large set. We know it's going to be a lot of secret rares. Um, once again, this is for the Japanese side. I would assume it would be similar because our uh, our version, the English version of Paldean Fates, was very similar. So um, that'll be interesting. I can't wait to see the evolutions. Um, I've had some people in the comments and some people in the Discord, um, which is totally normal, saying that the crowns, um, one, they don't like the crowns at all. I've gotten some comments about um, the Umbreon, some concern for the Umbreon uh, as far as the color goes, like the rainbow, they, know, they want no rainbow, they think it's gonna clash. Um, and that's understandable as well. We don't know yet, so that's something that I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for. Those are the the big ones. The evolutions is the ones that I really want to see. Um, also, it is important to note that um, we don't know if all of the evolutions are going to be included. I'm going to assume that yes, they are, but just for a little bit of an example, Flareon, we got the Flareon reveal. We didn't see Flareon on the pack. Okay. Now, obviously, there's not enough room for all of the evolutions on the pack, but with the size of the set, and it's supposed to be being an EV set, I'm going to assume we're going to get the entire evolution, uh, you know, all of them. And that's just an assumption. We don't know anything for sure. Like I said, I will let you guys know when we know more information for sure. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. That's the uh, Terrastal Festival update for you. Uh, it's not terrestrial. It's terrastal, okay? Uh, sorry, that's just a just a fun comment we got in one of the videos. Anyways, um, yeah, so Trestle Festival, looking interesting uh, with what Pokemon's been doing and the strength and uh, of these sets. I'm expecting kind of big things, but I don't want to get my hopes up. It's kind of where I'm at. 
So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.